Nicholas Joseph. <laughs> I was wondering what that was for. <laughs> Don't drop the beat on my wood bamboo because I know it hurts so bad. Devon Adorami WeeBlogs.com. You liked that. <laughs> <laughs> what an introduction, man. <laughs> Do you know where I got it from? Your yeah. lyric sheet. Yeah, I, 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 I was wondering, yeah. I was thinking I want to eat my spaghetti. I'm thinking, yeah. okay, how do I put that in? There were so many I could have chosen from. <laughs> what was the writing session on that like? Well, I did it by myself, so I didn't have to share with anybody, you know. I, I, I guess, like, if, if there were, like, people in the room and I would, like, I would just, like, be like, okay, let's do whip bamboo and, and plenty motherfucking I ate my spaghetti, they would be just, like... Are you crazy or what? I mean, these kind of things is just like you just come up with this on your own, and and then yeah, <laughs> then you get all sorts of reactions like this. But <laughs> no, Do it's you cool. know what? If that's what lie to me is all about, never tell me the truth. <laughs> never tell me the truth. Yeah. Um. I mean, people do interpret all of the meanings quite differently, and it's it's sometimes funny asking them you know what they think that it means what i'm saying and what i think that it means like what it what it means for me so um plenty motherfuckers want to eat my spaghetti what what does that mean for you i mean like you hear it in the track and you're like what does he mean well the only thing that tells me is to serve it serve that spaghetti because people want to (laughs) eat congratulations on your record thank you your signing that's such a big step in your career it is indeed I mean, I've been doing this ever since I was 14, and and uh, getting on an international label is uh, is a big thing. So, man, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. But it must be such a a huge step, isn't it? It's like because you've gone independent for so long. This yeah. is what you yeah. want, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been independent for like eight years, man. Just like financing everything on my own you know and and right now even just the fact that there is somebody who is big in music and who says we believe that you will make this is a big thing and it really does add a lot of energy to you because um eight years trying to do it really um let's just say that maybe the enthusiasm goes down after some time and suddenly man there's a there's a phone there's just one phone call and you're like Wow, your just whole world just brightens up. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. Really happy. There's a big team working on it right now, um, and we'll be working in the future on some quite exciting stuff. So yeah, man. Exciting. How do you juggle it all? Because you were in London, were you in Moscow as well? In, no, I, 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 I didn't actually. I wasn't able to go to Moscow because like, it would be crazy when it comes to doing, you know, <laughs> transfers. Like I would be flying overnight, and I even got here and I got sick. Um, so I like know Moscow. we missed you in Jerusalem on a camel. There was yeah. a camel waiting for Nicholas Joseph. In <laughs> I Jerusalem. saw the you know I saw that? the pictures. I was like, man, I missed it. But uh, yeah, I was in the hotel sleeping the whole day on pills. Um, but yeah, back to what we were saying. I mean, like, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. I signed in Munich and then I went over to London, then back home, then here. You know, I mean, you know the drill. Come on, like you're traveling with us the whole time, so so uh, both of our eyes are like kind of like rolling down because we're so tired. But and but, it's like quarter to six in the morning. So yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what can you do? I mean, this is the life. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, not not easy all the time. But I mean, today's show. How did you find it, man? I was good. It was good fun. I I, I want to know what's in your backpack. Like I'm so <laughs> curious. Like you keep, di- you know, you did the red carpet. You had this backpack on stage. What's in it? Yeah, well, it's part of the performance in Lisbon. Actually, uh, there's something inside. Um, we will find out what's inside of it on sixth May, during the blue carpet. I mean to reveal it. So, yeah, um, it's have coming. You sh- have you shot your postcard yet? I did. Yeah, I what did. What was that like? Was it good fun? Yeah, it was good fun. Um, I'm happy that we did it before because now I I can, uh, you know, talking to other artists like some of them are filming it right now like mm-hmm. during all of this madness which is crazy so I'm I'm happy I did it before and I went way over to the north of uh, Portugal, um, to a little village where they had like a really traditional carnival and they dressed me up in this costume and I was like dancing with local sounds, girls man. and and yeah it was kind of embarrassing but 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 <laughs> no I think I think I I managed to enjoy it in the end and it was really like you know you know all about cities I mean we travel to cities 
all the time but like this was like really really authentic you know characteristic village that you would probably never get to see if you were traveling in Portugal by on your own so oh wow so, so yeah it was good. it was it was exciting man it was exciting I feel like in your performance of Lie to Me you bring a lot to the table you're singing there's badass choreography you're rapping you're modeling with the <laughs> you know, like <laughs> all these disciplines yeah um, which do you enjoy the most good question um, you have modeled before, right? I did, yes. Oh. Uh, but only for a year, so um, my experience is not the that. The looks haven't faded. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, yeah, uh, the bones stay in the same position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's no wrinkles. Uh, well, not got, not yet, but and after you still this. Got your height, your hair, <laughs> like everything's there. Um, yeah, I didn't get any smaller, luckily. <laughs> That's true. Um, what I enjoy the most, um, I think like dancing has been like the biggest challenge for me. Um, I haven't really done it in the past. I'm, I mean, I've been into it ever since the music video where I just like randomly did some moves and it seemed to work. So right now I'm just trying to bring it onto a next level uh, for the Eurovision performance. So um, I think there will be something to see, hopefully. But yeah, I mean, like this is what has been giving me quite like <laughs> you know <laughs> hard times. So 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 yeah. But I'm happy with where we got, and we still have a month to um, to to rehearse. You know, so so let's see how it goes. Do you feel like somebody is constantly watching over you? Somebody who knows you, who is probably being tattooed on your right arm because he knows you. <laughs> Are you talking about Ron? Can we can we zoom into this tattoo? <laughs> He knows me. I and then there is another one. What you're talking about is this one because he knows me, my brother Wind. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So I, 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 got, I got brother Wind when I was 16, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I got the rest when I was about, I don't know, 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically it's a song by Tim O'Brien and Daryl Scott. It's a folk song. It's, they're like American bluegrass folk musicians. I heard the track and I immediately fell in love with it and I was like man the the vibe of this track or the feeling just like I don't know it's hard to describe but I just got it tattooed um, I have another one from them <laughs> right here and there are many songs we'll see that come. one in Madrid <laughs> <laughs> I just like go all shirtless on stage <laughs> not joking but but yeah I'm a you know I like to connect memories with uh, some people you can connect it with like smell or stuff and I connect that to music so like this is like a reflection of how I was feeling during a period of time in my past um, that felt good to me and that I would like to keep it myself so this is how I keep it in me somehow <laughs> yeah strange way of thinking about it getting philosophical but like um, that's the way it is there's an even stranger question coming up which is the final question because you do have to sleep at some point <laughs> If you have to, if you have to sum up your Eurovision experience mm. in one word, what would it be? Amazing. There yeah. you have it. Really? Michaelis Joseph, who is also amazing <laughs> and will be Thank the you. first semi final, <laughs> won't you? That's right. That's right. That's right. Stay gorgeous. Thank you, baby blogs. You stay gorgeous. See you later. See you later. Bye bye. bye. bye.